Hey guys, so back in November, I think it was November, maybe a little before then, uh, I had a company send me one of these diamond paintings, and it's taken me a while, but I have gotten about halfway through it, and I'm really, really enjoying it. So, yeah, it seems these diamond paintings aren't as most most things are they aren't just a gender specific type of craft if you can get the right image uh, anyway I just thought I would sit down for a little bit and do a little work on this and let you guys come along with me while I just talk about some of the things going on right now I know a lot of us are or a lot of you guys might be stuck at home right now or it might feel like you're stuck at home um, what better thing to do right now than crafts I mean they bring you a lot of enjoyment they make you feel better and that's the same thing as enjoyment isn't it um, they just take your mind off what's currently going on outside of your little area and they can bring enjoyment to a lot of other people as well so if you have a craft that's been sitting there for a while collecting dust that you just haven't picked back up maybe use some of this time to work on it a little bit maybe you'll uh, get it done even though it feels like it's just been like it's never going to get done and that may be how a lot of you feel about this uh, time right now with everything that's going on that this time is just never never going to end we're all going to be kind of stuck here in this state of fear or anxiety or you know whatever it may be that you're you're experiencing right now but this is not going to last forever this is this is going to pass just as most every other thing that we've gone through this this time will not last forever so don't stop thinking about your future don't stop making plans for your future in the short term uh, a lot of your plans might be interrupted, but that's just it. It's just an interruption. It's not a... Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not a... It's not doing away with everything. It's just interrupting things momentarily. So, kind of look at it that way. Is This is a time you can use to focus on being with your family, on maybe doing some of your backlog of, of crafts or chores or maybe even learning something new this could be a great time to just spend some time learning something new and it doesn't have to be a craft it can be a new skill that you can use in your current job if you're in between jobs or if you want a new job maybe this is a great time to learn something that will help you get that new job that you want so having said all that how are you guys doing I haven't really been making videos that often and this type of video is something completely new for me because I'm pretty much just sitting here talking to myself while I'm working on this diamond painting so you guys let me know down below how you're doing if I could live stream this right now that would make it a little more interactive but unfortunately maybe that's something I'll do in the future but right now my setup isn't really that great for that So yeah, maybe a live stream in the future, but for now, I 
do what I can. Uh, I do want to do a video on or about this particular diamond painting I've been working on. And hopefully it'll be soon. Hopefully. Uh, but I also have a lot of other things going on. I do need to get back to making more cross stitch tutorials because that seems to be what a lot of people have found on my channel or my cross stitch tutorials and a lot of people find them very useful so I do need to definitely get back to making those if y'all are wondering if you've never done a diamond painting before and you're wondering like why I'm around like this I'm trying to do a grid and then you go back in and fill the holes. I'm working on this. Uh, I don't know if you can even see it on this shot, but it's a cross hatch, like a uh, a tic tac toe board. Uh, that's the symbol that I'm working on right now. So I'm trying to get all the grid on this side filled in, and I think I'm pretty good. So now I'll go back and fill in all the holes on it. If you've never tried diamond painting, I would suggest that you do because it's very fun. Uh, with a name like diamond painting, I wasn't sure it would be something I would be interested in because it does sound, uh, for lack of a better description, it does sound kind of girly, uh, but it really isn't. It's just picking up. It's you would think it might be like a shiny thing and I'm not really into the glittery ones so chances are you won't won't find me working on a glittery sparkly diamond painting even though they all do have some sparkle in them uh, just due to the nature of the of the little resin beads themselves and they're not really beads uh, but the little resin pieces because they have so many facets on them it does make the light bounce off them so they are inherently shiny but they're not glittery I'm not a big fan of glittery things so anyway even though it does sound like something shiny and glittery and something I might not like uh, it's really kind of cool it's to me it's a lot well, it's kind of similar to cross stitching because you're working off a grid uh, and you're filling in the colors. Except instead of using floss, you're using little resin pieces, little resin squares or circles. In this case, these are squares. And this is the first one I've ever done. So I've I've heard that the Circle ones are easier, but since square is all I've done, I have to say square is not really that hard. Um, so it hasn't really been, it's been, I mean, I guess it's kind of a challenge, but it's not so super challenging that you have to be super advanced to do it. I mean, you just line up the edge of the square piece with the square on the grid and plop it down in there. And if you don't line it up exactly, you can kind of push it around a little bit, at least on this, this type you can, or you can pull it back up with a pair of tweezers and put it back down where you want it. So, yeah, fun stuff. So I'm not gonna sit here all day and just ramble on about things, but I'm going a little bit longer. So yeah, like I said, I hope y'all are all doing good. I hope you're coping well with the current situation. And if there are, let me just throw this out there. Since I did say then I, I need to do more cross stitch tutorials. If there are any specific things that I have talked about in the past, you guys have seen on my channel or 
things you've thought about you would like to see on my channel that you would like to see me do more of, please let me know. Let me know in my comments. Uh, I did, the last video I did was reorganizing our, or reorganizing my little metal building shop that I have. And it's, it's a lot better now than it was, but it's still really tiny. I would like to eventually get something a little bit bigger, but that's probably going to be years down the road. Uh, but I also have a table saw that, that was my dad's that I'm trying to restore. And so I want to do a video on that, uh, showing the restoration process. Um, it does work, so I'm, I'm hoping it'll be at least a decent little table saw. It's not a high quality name brand or anything, but for what I need, I think it'll work just fine. Uh, so the table saw, I want to start doing more wood crafts. Uh, I did just build a raised garden bed in the backyard yesterday and planted some peas for our little boy. It's not a very big one, but... I think I'm going to do another one about the same size so we can grow a few more things because uh, I would like to be a little more self-sufficient and that's that's one thing that the current our current situation as well as just in general I've I've always wanted to be more self-sufficient than we are I don't want to depend on having to always go and buy everything that we need to eat grow vegetables uh, I'm not really I won't say I'm not really into hunting because I could be into hunting but I've just never really done it but even still I love fishing and that's another way to get food and so fishing possibly some hunting uh, even foraging, I've I've been interested, especially in the past few years, in learning about wild edibles and being able to forage for those. So, you know, just any way I can find to be more self-sufficient and to not have to rely on the grocery stores or, you know, just other people in general. Where if something happens, we are stocked up, we can take care of ourselves. And I'm in no way talking about hoarding toilet paper because that is not one thing I plan to do. Uh, I, I, I would, I do see the benefit in stocking up on some non-perishable foods like canned foods, things like that, but not hoarding toilet paper. <laughs> So, those are a few of the things that I would like to do more of, more videos of, and of course, a lot more crafts, more cross-stitching, more diamond painting, more uh, crochet. I've done some knitting, so more knitting, like I said, more woodworking crafts, just all over the place. So you guys just let me know if there's something among that that you would really like to see. I know I've got a few people on here that really are interested in the cross stitch. So like I said, I need to do more of that. But let me know about other things. Yeah. So let's see, I'll get these last few in here. That I can find, fill in a few more of these little spots. And then I think we're going to call it a day on this one. We'll do these last two rows. Starting here. Going down the diagonal. And see, once you get the grid on this thing filled in, it's, it's easy. They just plop right in. You do have to still line it up some. But not as much as you might think.
and there we are. So, like I said, I hope you guys are doing well. Hope you continue to do well. And uh, just let me know in the comments if there's anything y'all want to see. Uh, and let me know how y'all are doing. I'll talk to you next time.